Hey folks, it's Tom and Frugal Prepper. So just a little public service announcement here, like kind of at night, I just got done watering the garden and it's getting dark. But uh, I've been selling some stuff on Facebook Marketplace here lately, just to clean up some stuff and get rid of some stuff. Uh, they will send you, uh, these uh, fake buyers will send you a message, act like they're interested. They'll create a fake account that's like local to your city, right? And you'll look it up and you'll be like, yeah, they're local, okay. They'll even ask you questions about the item you're selling. Then they'll be, you'll be like, they'll be like, I'd like to have it. And you'll be like, well, where do you want to meet? Or what's your address so I can drop it off? Or whatever, and they'll be like, oh, can you give me your phone number and I'll give you a call. So you send them your phone number, right? And then they use that phone number to go in and initiate a Google account password reset and that Google account password reset will send a text message to your phone and you have to enter the six digit code in Google to confirm it's really you trying to do a password reset well they'll send you another message back like hey I just sent you a uh, Google verification to verify you're a real person can you text me that six digit code and then I'll know you're real and you're thinking like they want to do this before they give you your address or agree to meet with you to make sure you're real to make sure they're not getting scammed they're not going to get attacked so you're trying to prove that you're this great person a real person with real stuff to sell you send them that six digit code they use it to go in and hack your google account change the password and if it's tied to a youtube account they can take over your youtube account they can they can do anything from there plus a lot of people have their gmail uh, assigned with with that and so then they have access to your gmail which like 50 percent of other password resets for other services send a mail message to make sure it's you and you have to verify it now they have access to your gmail to get in and start hacking your other accounts so two things one is i create a google voice number that is tied to just a google voice and a, a fake gmail address that i never use right and I use that for Facebook Marketplace, and I set that number to forward to my cell phone. Um, two, and, and the other thing is, don't ever send somebody a six-digit passcode. Never. I have my credit union that wanted to verify it was me. I was, I called them. I was talking to them on the phone about an account, and they wanted to verify it was me. They're like, we're going to send you a six-digit code, and you can send it back. I'm like, uh-uh. We have to figure something else out. I'm not sending you a six digit code because that's how people get hacked. I'm just, I'm not trusting that for a second. I'm like, you guys say all the time, like never ever send their six digit code to anybody. And then you want to send me a six digit code to verify I am who I am. No, I'm not doing that. I, I'll just, I'll drive, I'll drive on over there and talk to you. How's that sound? <laughs> you know? Uh, so never ever send somebody a six digit code from your phone to verify anything. It's just not worth it. There's too many hackers out there. If they get access to that Gmail account, they own you, right? And like, so if your Gmail account gets stolen, it gets hacked, Google will do nothing to help you get it back ever if they if they changed all the access codes and you can't get back into it you're screwed there's nothing you can do you can get a hold of them on twitter or now it's the x and you can ask them but they'll eventually say there's nothing they can do the only time they will help you get it back is in my case i got hacked my youtube channel since i had a youtube channel with it there was a method with lots of paperwork and forms and delayed messages with them like 15 hours and then they would respond it took me like two weeks to get my account back so be really careful because if you don't have a youtube account you're not getting it back and so many people have had their gmail addresses i've had mine since 2010 right so losing access to that's crazy i don't I no longer use my Gmail address for anything except spam kind of messages. I have my own mail server, my own domain name, and I manage it myself, right? And I'm very careful. I set up all the dual authentication methods and everything, but don't 
ever send somebody a six digit passcode, but that is happening repeatedly on Facebook Marketplace. I've heard it from other people. I've had people send me screenshots and I've been like, no, don't do that. <laughs> you know, So just be aware if you're going to sell on Facebook Marketplace, really be careful of that scam. I'll talk to you all later. It's Tom, your frugal prepper.